Hey! So, I ironically just realized that I'm also in the toilets in the library of the university. How good I think for toilets, I don't know. Um, but yeah, here's the second part. I hope you enjoy. Um, I hope you're having a rad day. And uh, yeah, I'll see you towards the end of the video with some more information. Okay, so this is what I've decided. This is what it looks like with the one projector. Right, but then this is what it looks like with two projectors. And I think it makes them really, really, really lights up the room a lot more. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of it. But now I need to decide whether if I want this one or want this one. And then the little screen there. I think, I personally for this, it would be awesome just to have it in here. Because the interaction of these two is I don't know, it just really changes the lighting of the room. I'll show you an example, check this out. See how much more dramatic that becomes? It's really hot, but yeah. And if I cover that one. I mean, this one's a lot more brighter, but you get the idea. I think I'm gonna be using this one, the Acer definitely for this room. And I'll be using this one. Maybe for another room, or I maybe think, oh, I don't think it could stretch up to here. I think I want to keep this for like, photos mainly. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So that's the room we'll be using. Disabled room. So I'm just packing up guys, I um, just wanted to make a quick announcement and reminder when you're packing up projectors, you hear that sound? Wait until it cools down before you actually unplug it all the way in. So I've turned it off, I'm letting it cool down. That is very very essential because we don't want to damage these things, they're expensive. In this case they're not my property so I want to look after them. This one is already settled down pretty quickly because it's new and everything. Um, but I'm going to wait a little longer and then unplug it. Hear that? Cooling down. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm here with my dad, guys. Say hi. Hi. So this is the result of this second bathroom, the disabled toilet.
All right, so I think the work was a huge success. Um, everyone loved it, and I think it was pretty well resolved. There's a lot of documentation, but there you go, guys. This is how we made an artwork, and um, I hope that you continue to join me after this, which we have a long journey to go, a whole year. Um, and yeah, here you go. Disinfect my remains. Water me in kindness. So yeah, guys, the work was a success. It was awesome. Um, but just, I just wanted to point something out really quickly. It's a good habit to always deinstall after you're finished. So as you can see, we've deinstalled and I've actually cleaned. The reason, that's just a good form and a good thing to do. That way, if you're gonna use the space later on or you know, people see that you care about the place, you know, go wipe down and everything. This is like a stain, so can't do much about that. The other room is clean as well. If people see that, they're gonna love you and they're just gonna be more than happy to lay in more places in the future. So it's always a good form and remember, when you're making art and you're making installations or whatever, always be careful of your environment, you know, look after it. And remember as well, always be a good sport. All right, see ya. Hey guys, so I hope you guys liked the video. Um, you know, it was really, really fun to make and uh, really, 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 really fun to make the artwork. I learned a lot about you know video installation and how projection and light um, work in architecture. I actually ended up looking into the sexuality of architecture and exploring um, almost like I guess the gaze of um, you know infrastructures and structures and looking at space in a gendered manner. I know a lot of you are gonna be like, oh my god. <laughs> You know, as much as that is, it's an interesting topic to look into um, because I feel like a lot of us are reflected into what we build, you know, and so I will be looking into that, inferring developing this project. In saying so, I want to talk about a couple things. So, first of all, um, you know, I am doing two other subjects um, for university, so I'm doing art and design in film, which is, um, you know, being taught by Michael Vail. He's an amazing uh, painter and also does, you know, has worked in the film industry. Yeah, and the other class is being taught by Mary Turnbull, and it's basically just looking at woodworking and welding in a sculptural form. So I'm working on a couple of sculptures. So the way I'm going to approach those two units in this channel are going to be more of like a really rough, just kind of like general um, input because a lot of them need you know, a visual form so like a visual journal to be shown um and you know because of the sake of time and work and work my work ethic i think i'm gonna emphasize most of my studio and my personal practice on this channel and i think the other two you know they'll feed you know the channel will feed into them as well slightly um but i don't think we're gonna worry too much about them but in saying so if you guys want anything or want to know anything about those two let me know and i will film them for you and I'll show you what I do as an art student in those two topics. So let's talk about the work, um, Disinfect My Remains. So that's what I ended up calling it. And um, there's a few layers to the naming. So I'm talking about the, I guess, overall cleansing of my soul and my body. So the work takes a metaphysical and philosophical approach to life. And I guess what I was looking into is, as we travel through life, you know, our bodies capture a lot of negativity, a lot of bad vibes, you know, a lot of toxicity from the outside world. And not just the outside world, but within ourselves, our thoughts, what we do and, you know, who we think we are. Um, we reach certain stages of life where things just seem to go downhill and, um, you know, we're hit in the face constantly, you know, we bleed, we bleed, we rot. It's a thing that our bodies do. And uh, as a source, of um, you know of privacy and I guess almost a, of a ritualistic approach to cleansing we use the shower uh, personally I use the shower but I'm pretty sure a lot of us do that and we follow that path where you know we take long showers and the showers are really thought-provoking they are the yeah you know, for a lot of people are a source of creativity a lot of people are you know it's, it's a source of calmness and a place to you know cool down and relax or chill how a lot of people say it 
Um, and for me, it was a very interesting approach to the artwork, and I think in score, that's what it's about. Um, the work looks at all the things as well, so like the struggle of putting your body out into the public, and I guess, you know, for some people, it's a thing, it's an everyday battle of, you know, comfortness and, uh, I guess, confidence and self-esteem. And to show something as private and intimate as yourself showering in something that's so ritualistic for a lot of people, I know for myself it is, um, it's a pretty powerful and brave thing to do. Um, again, I was pretty out of the comfort zone when I did this, um, but I had to do it because this is what I wanted to explore. This is how I responded. This is how my body responds to making art. You know, I put myself out there in different forms, strange forms, showing something so simple. But yet, you know, when you look at it in its full complexity, how beautiful it actually is. And I guess how aesthetically, aesthetically pleasing it is as well. Again, so also looking at displacements of placements. So taking something that's happened in my house, you know, showering in my house, to taking it to a public space, which then, you know, became also private and intimate, you know, and it's also an institutional space, you know, an institutional place. I mean, it's a faculty, you know, it's the art faculty. Um, but, you know, it was interesting, you know, seeing the reactions, it was quite an eventful um, time. And uh, people seem to really enjoy it. A lot of people were confronted by it. A lot of people were confused. And um, a lot of people really loved it as well. And that was awesome. The thing is also, um, you know, statistically speaking, you know, there's only three of us, three guys, myself included, in this in our entire class. And then, you know, the rest are all women. And I think it's a class of like 44 people or so. Um, so you can imagine the democratic there. It's you know it's pretty you know uh, yeah, but in saying so that was so that was an interesting thing to see um, how everyone else reacted to this work. You know um, I know a lot of the girls were saying that you know they really enjoy looking at it in not not in a perverted way. You know it's, that's not what the work is about. And the work about the work is not a perverted art work. It's more of appreciating the beauty of something in so simple and something very you know intimate in a way but also very um private and ritualistic uh something that it is very special to us um so that was so that was really awesome to know and uh, i thank you all um you know for your awesome comments about the work now let's talk about the achievements so I achieved a couple of things with this work. One is playing with video installation. So something I've been meaning to try for a while and I think um, for our first artwork it was pretty well resolved. Um, you know, obviously there are things I could try differently or more things I could try um, with different projectors, different sizes, different lenses, different video, different editing, you know, the list goes on. But I think for first go that wasn't too bad. Um, I got pretty good comments from my lecturers as well, you know, a lot of them thought it was a really, really good, strong work, a really good, strong first response. And yeah, again, like that's just the way my body uh, wanted to go on about this project. Um, so yeah, I also discovered um, one of the interesting comments was how I was playing with the sexuality of architecture. And I think that's something I really want to follow up. Um, it's, you know, when I look at architecture, I see a lot of us in it. You know, we tend to reflect ourselves onto the spaces we inhabit, and the places we inhabit tend to influence us as well. So there's this interesting connection that I, think, I don't think a lot of people really look or, or stop to think about, you know. And again, it goes back to the whole nature of showering. You know, the artwork capture myself showering. It's this thing that we do, but we really, we really don't pay attention to what we do until someone shows you what it is that you do, and you're like, oh, hey, yeah, that's interesting. So I think that's something um, that I also pointed out, and I think a lot of people were fascinated by that. Um, so playing with the architecture of a space, even though it wasn't the whole space, you know, I used it in a clever way, in which, um, you know, it showed what it needed to show, and it made it very powerful and just the right amount of it if that makes sense and finally um just learning more about installation just really expanding and learning how to use the space to its full potential so like i said rather than using two projectors at once or using too much 
I just went with a little screen, a projector in the one room, and I actually ended up using the disabled room as well, which I thought I wasn't going to. Um, but I did, and that was, you know, again, a very interesting way of using mirrors and light. So yeah. So yeah, so where is the work gonna go now? Um, to be honest, I'm not sure at this exact moment where the work is gonna go. We're supposed to develop the work even further um, and just, you know, push it to another level. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm up for that. I've been looking at, like, Nine Inch Nails and a little Radiohead, um, kind of, you know, the, the creative direction where they take their music, and I guess visually and aesthetically. Um, and so I'm going to look into a lot of that experimentation and um, see where I can take that with the body. Uh, in saying so, I also need to come up with two other works, so other two responses. Um, these could take in the form of materiality, uh, which we're going to be talking about in the next episode. Or again, we could look into other mediums or practices. Um, again, we'll talk about this in the next episode. Um, and yeah, we'll be talking about where I'll, what some of my developed ideas for continuing to develop Disinfect My Remains and the other two projects and, and so forth. You'll see. So yeah, so um, I'll be loading a couple of other videos, um, mostly just, again, just behind the scenes on how the filming went about for Disinfect My Remains and the three films that were um, displayed on the, ex on the artwork itself. So you'll get to see those as well. And uh, yeah, I will see you next week. And remember to...